Hey everyone, it's Bob again. Getting ready to start on our second trip for this week. Apparently at the last minute, a load that they had scheduled to go out uh, with another company, they had a problem with their truck. <laughs> so now I'm going to go grab that load and I'll take it. Supposedly a pipe load going out to Santa Clara up by, in the Bay Area. It's been a while since we've been up that way. And it being the middle of February, that always means there's a chance of uh, weather becoming an issue over Donner. So we'll have to see how this goes, but we're off to go get loaded. Okay, there's my next load, load of pipe. Haven't got the paperwork, but it's probably about 36 to 40,000 pounds. We'll check on that. I know most guys only do the four over the top because they're banded, but I like to put that middle one on just to keep the middle solid. And then also when they're taking it off, then we have the bottom two layers solid. <laughs> They won't roll around while they're unloading. Okay, well, we got loaded. It says about 38,000 pounds of pipe. We're on our way. I've checked the weather. Looks like Donner's is clearing out. I won't be there till later tonight. And it looks like there won't be anything uh, through the, until the weekend. So we should. I mean, it's open right now. So we should be able to fly right over and shouldn't have any trouble coming out tomorrow. We're in a little bit of rain right now, in and out. Apparently that's not going to last, so we'll just make our way across northern Nevada and get into California. Okay, well we're going this morning. 
Darren told me about this good ramp to park on. There was some oversized trucks already there. Um, ended up being a nice quiet ramp. Uh, we woke up, there was a little bit of fog out this morning. But we got out of it really quick and it's been a beautiful day going into the city. So hopefully, looks like we're going to have a little bit of traffic when we get down uh, closer to San Jose. But, you know, that's, that's to be expected. getting a hold of the guys uh, nobody would answer we finally got a hold of the right person and, and they said to come on in and they get us unloaded so we're heading in Well, we made it up here to Red Bluff. It's about 5.30 uh, Utah time, so it's only 4.30 here. But yeah, they're, they're all locked up, gone home for the day. The only bad thing is we used to be able to park across the street. They had a uh, kind of like a uh, maintenance shed out there and all the room to, to uh, you know, park over there and strap down your load and tarp it if you needed to. But they closed and locked the gate. <laughs> now I'm over here on this side. It'll be fine, but <laughs> it's like, you know, a little side street next to some railroad tracks, which they don't get used much, but they do, you know, trains do go by here occasionally. <laughs> you know, we're here, we needed a place to park, so we'll stay here. There's one other truck here, uh, so we'll just... Uh, We'll just get loaded in the morning. Hopefully it won't be too noisy here tonight, but, you know, we're here. That's all that matters.
Okay, there's there's my load of joists. I got two bundles of 60 footers way over there. They're off the back eight feet. They're off the front four because I've got to trade trailers. Um, I'll trade with uh, Dave and Tooele and he has a shorter wheelbase so I kept it up there a little bit. They say he should fit four foot overhang. So they had me do the the uh, strap down low there and back there on two layers up. And then I did three layers up. I keep my finger out of the way. Uh, three layers up there and up in the front. And then I just did the rest of them across the top. So I got more than enough straps to <laughs> for regulation and it'll hold it down so we're okay with that and we're at 46,300 pounds is what it says I'm grossing 78 see there's my four foot overhang on the front and then they had that one bundle of uh, I don't know I'd say like a 32 or 35 footer up there all the others are pretty close to 40 or 48 60 footers on there. We got it all tied down, so we'll get going. got home it's about midnight we uh, met up with Dave and uh, in Tooele uh, he's gonna deliver that load so I just grabbed his empty trailer and came home the only bad thing that happened was I have a little old tool bag that I keep all my bungees in since this was a load of wood I couldn't use the magnets on it to hold the lights once it got dark and so I've got some metal plates in there that the magnets will hold to. I can bungee them onto the back of the load and then put the magnets on there and my lights will stay. Well, I took my bag out and I put it on the step and then I went to the back of the trailer and got everything all set up and then I just came back and got back in the truck and went down the road and about a mile down the road I realized that I had forgotten something. And I got out and looked, and it didn't stay there, so you lose stuff occasionally. <laughs> so, anyway, other than that, uh, we made it back. Tomorrow I'll just take this empty up and leave it in the yard, and I guess they've got a load ready for me to take for next week. So, that'll wrap up this trip and this week, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.